coffee with, and he... Good morning, my people. It is Sunday, January 8th, 2023, and this is Coffee With, and he... Getting back to my roots. Um, we're actually sitting at the spot where I started this back in September. Um, my little coffee or talk, clutch, whatever, thingy. So, I want to bring you up to speed on a bunch of stuff that's going on. We are um, we're still in Charleston at Cooper River Marina. And uh, we've been delayed here uh, waiting for my uncle's memorial. Um, but it's also been because I've, I've been doing this outfit. <clears throat> Went out on a sea trial yesterday. All the marine electronics are installed and they all worked. I don't look excited, but I am. I'm terribly excited. This is my excited face. Um, chart plotter is awesome. Um, it's different than the app. And we've got the Navionics maps, but the interface is a little different and that's gonna be a little bit different getting used to. We didn't like the Navionics app at first when we first started um, cruising. We'll still use it. Um, we'll use that and the chart uh, but it's different. Um, but big old display up there. The boat, is, the, the new autopilot's working like it should. Um, the old autopilot, if you were sailing for more than a few hours, um, it would lose its brain. You couldn't hit the plus or minus 10 button on it, which is 10 degrees for my nine boater friends. <clears throat> and it would just start just going nuts. So we tested all that yesterday um, and it all worked great. Um, now we're just doing a lot of the fine tuning and um, clean up. And, and uh, we ran into a big roadblock yesterday, huge. <coughs> we're out on our sea trial. Well cleaning up the boat, getting us ready to go out. Wanted to start the engines, make sure everything was good before we got off the dock. And um, starboard engine started, was spitting water out of the exhaust, which is what it's supposed to. That, the, again, for my non-boater friends, the engine is cooled. It's got a, a coolant loop inside of the engine, which is antifreeze, like a car, or your diesel engine. But that coolant loop is cooled by raw water from the ocean for us. Um, if you're on a lake or something, it would be raw water from that. So it sucks in water from below the boat in the uh, actual outboard or, or sail drive on my boat through the sail drive to cool it through an inner, um, I don't even know what the name is called, basically a water to water radiator. Um, and then it puts that water into the exhaust to cool the exhaust so the through hull and the discharge water is not just scalding hot getting shot back into the water um, and, and the exhaust isn't coming out that hot so you're not burning a connector through the side of your boat this uh, starboard engine started fine with spitting water um, I noticed a little water in the engine compartment over on the port side when I was just checking everything and getting ready to button it up so I decided to check the water strainer and um, I got an air bubble in the hose I've got that rerouted now where it shouldn't have that problem again so it took about 30 minutes to prime that it won't take that long anymore because it shouldn't happen anymore so that was first scare might not be able to get off the dock then when we got, went to get off the dock um, we had no reverse thrust we had forward thrust, but no reverse thrust. And we're kind of tight in here. And, um, we were revving them up pretty good, trying to get reverse thrust and nothing. Drifting away from the dock and having to play with it. Um, the propellers on this boat are folding propellers. So when they, you're not spinning them, 
they fold back to flat as you're going through the water to reduce your drag below water and it, and it really gives you half a knot per prop whatever um, in speed because you don't have that drag below you um, well it appears that it wasn't unfolding properly when we went into reverse when, when you go into forward it would unfold properly um, and I don't know if we've got a wear washer issue or something um, after we got off the dock and went out on our sea trial we tested it a few times and it seemed to work better um, but then in docking we were having trouble with it again so I get to get in the water today and get down and make sure that they're opening and closing well and that we clean them um, I'll get in there with a brush and scrub them really good um, the boat behind me do while has a, uh, a 70 foot whip on his uh, octo regulator on his tank so he's just gonna we're gonna put the tank here on the dock and I'm gonna dive down and give it a good scrub and make sure I don't have a problem um, if I do have a problem I do have um, fixed propellers in my storage compartment but uh, I get to I'll get to learn how to swap a propeller out under water um, don't want that to happen I'm hoping it's just we've been here for over a month I'm hoping it's just real dirty um, down in there and uh, brushing it with a brass or steel wool little brush underwater will clean out everything and everything will open and close well first problem we ran into yesterday I mean, that was the second problem we ran into yesterday. Third problem we ran into was... We, we've done this upgrade. We've done a lot of work. <clears throat> new marine um, navigation electronics. New power system. So, I uh, took out the original inverter that came with the boat from 98, which was 1,000 watts, and replaced it with a 3,000 watt uh, Victron unit and upgraded the batteries to the new lithiums um, and then some uh, the brains and everything else I've probably talked about before uh, and, and I love all that stuff because it's just data and I'm a data guy and I'm an interconnected guy um, there's not um, a lot of subject matter experts that are great at interconnecting all this stuff because marine electronics vendors are like 30 years throwback um, they don't like to talk to each other and integration and um, michael's been great but he's not a victron guy um so uh, it's not michael at all it's just me um it's not you it's me it's me uh so a couple weeks ago when i was doing my cleanup I um, disconnected a couple of things with my old alternator regulators. I've got a 120 amp, um, amp alternator on each engine, and it is positively excited. So it gets power to excite and energize the, the stator, and, uh, so it'll start outputting power, and it does regulation based on the feedback of that. Um, so we weren't getting power a couple weeks ago and I traced it back and I figured it out and I put it back in line and this old voltage regulator was working it was working pretty well I probably tested it 10 times a um, couple of hours run time with uh, revving up one engine both engines and I was able to regulate the voltage to exactly where I wanted to with a potentiometer um, to the sweet spot for my new lithium batteries. And you're not gonna get 120 amps output out of an alternator, especially after it hits, it does that for the first few seconds or the first minute or so, then it tails off. Um, with external regulation, you can monitor the, the temperature of your um, alternator and a bunch of other factors and I was able to get 70 80 amps after a little while out of each engine which is throwing a lot of power into those batteries something went wrong with that regulator yesterday it got really hot 
while we were out under load. Might have been, it's probably, now that I think about it, we did some high revving yesterday and we're trying to get those props to unfold. Second problem went into the third. So probably that high revs um, may have caused the, uh, the regulator to go wild. So then the regulator was throwing out some crazy high voltage. Um, I saw 20 volts on a 12 volt system, which isn't good. New marine electronics start blinking on and off. And I'm thinking, did I just cook everything? Got to troubleshoot that on the fly while we're in this busy little shipping lane and there's tugs and freighters uh, pushing off the dock and coming at us. Tracy's at, the, Tracy's at the helm and acting like a rock star, like she always does, steady and flappable. And I'm under the bed ripping wires out of an external voltage regulator to try to get the voltage down, uh, which we did. We were able to finish our sea trial, calibrate the compass, calibrate the autopilot properly. Uh, we even calibrated the um, water wheel, which does our speed in the water versus our speed over ground, which speed over ground is just by GPS. Speed over water is um, how fast the water wheel turns, uh, which gives you a differential between true and apparent wind speed and um, it helps the brains of your system talk better. So got back to the boat and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for regulation. Um, that's my first thing I've really got to figure out this week. I've got uh, a week before we leave and I got to get this fixed and figured out. Um, the, one of the last little details with our VHF is I've got a new MMSI number, which is in my AIS, which is my um, boat positioning system. The AIS is working perfectly, but the MMSI and my VHF is not, it, it's set to the old one. It's not user resettable. So I need to either find someone here this week to ship this off to or bring it to Charleston to get it reprogrammed or go with the old MMSI or I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, and then the regulator, I've got to decide on something. Would love to go with wake speed uh, based on their interface stuff with uh, Victron, but it's spendy. It's $600 a regulator. I mean, they talk on the CAN bus, they talk to Victron, I can monitor everything. Dang, that's expensive. I need two of them. And then, oh, six hundred dollars for regular. You need a P exciting wiring harness to go to your P exciting alternator. That should be included for six hundred dollars, unless I'm missing something. So most likely going with the Balmar. I've got a, a, a six fourteen. Talking to my boat people, not my other people, because I know I'm, I'm just speaking a different language. So I've got a, a Balmar 614 on the boat that came with the boat as a spare part, but I would need two of them. Or the Balmar 618, which has the lithium profiles in it. But then that doesn't talk to everything, but it's a lot less money. And it's a brand that's been out for a long time, and it's robust, and it'll work. So I, I would need the charging regulators. I would need a unifying center fielder. So a lot of things to wrap up in the last few weeks, or the last week of this, and I'm kind of under the gun. I'm doing some nice carpentry work on the inside. It's not pretty yet, uh, but uh, we've moved the VHF and the SSB down into the cabinet at the nav station. So it's not up top. I've given Tracy some space back uh, to store books, and she's happier about that. Man, I've been rambling for a long time. I'm going to wrap this up soon. But the overreaching thought that I got yesterday when we were out um, is I've gotten comfortable here on the dock. And it's comfortable to have your car up there, you can get off, you can do whatever. We know the people here, we love the people here at the dock. We love the people everywhere we go, but we've got Dark and Stormy at the end, love just sitting up and playing board games until way too late at night. 
there's been so many other people at the dock that we've met that we like. There's John on do while because he's doing it while he can. Um, but getting out of the water yesterday made me want to just get back out of the water and go. So I, I'm looking forward to that. I, I lost focus for a few weeks while I was in project mode and working on this stuff from the moment I woke up to the moment we would just wrap up for the evening. Um, I also have to get out of this project mode because feature creep. This runs into this, runs into this, runs into this, and oh, your alternator regulators blow up. Oh, that's going to be another $1,000. That's going to be a a new experience installing because I haven't installed one yet. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's a lot. <sighs> Thank you guys for the response on the uh, fire on a boat. Uh, if you haven't watched that yet, it's probably linked above or below or somewhere. Uh, just tells the story of my hero sons and, and how proud I am of them. Um, I'm going to wrap things up for the day and get to work on my projects. And I uh, love you guys. Clean up, clean up after yourselves. Spay new to your pets, and uh, talk to you soon.